Londoners were largely welcoming the return of former British Prime Minister David Cameron to current leader Rishi Sunak's cabinet on November 13 as the Conservative leader carried out a surprising reshuffle Sunak brought back Cameron as foreign minister in a reshuffle triggered by his firing of Interior Minister Sulla Braverman after her criticism of police threatened his authority. Former Foreign Minister James cleverly replaced Braverman, speaking from London Bridge, Londoner and Finance. Worker Chris Robinson said it appeared to be a chess move to bring back Cameron ahead of elections due to be held next year. Last time, although um, what, what he did with Brexit, I wouldn't necessarily um, agree with personally. He's been on the rock for a while. Um, I guess that's perhaps a PR stunt in itself. You know, he. Um, last thing I remember is Brexit, you know, open up the, the um, referendum and then just leaving it in the hands of someone else. That's what it's, that's how it was left, so. Well, he can't do any worse than what's currently in position and maybe he's a mature figurehead that we need at the moment. Feels like a bit of a chess move to try to bring someone in, like Martin said, a bit, a bit of gravitas because he's clearly making his moves to get ready for you know, the, the election next year and it's probably quite a clever move to bring him in, bring someone a bit of experience because the rest of the, well we all know what Dominic Cummings thinks of the rest of the cabinet that was, so um, he's a good operator, so uh, yeah, in purely kind of corporate terms it's a, it's a good move. Um, I, I, think she, I think she needed to go for what she was been saying recently. Um, I think she's, I don't know, I, I just don't, I don't think she was really the right person in the right job really, I don't think she'd be too far right, um, what she's coming out with. Um.